Hello everybody and welcome to another Mountain View Soap Co. video. My name is Hannah and today we are going to be making the second soap in the fall collection, My Sunflower Bar. I am so excited to show you guys this soap as I am with all of my soaps for the fall collection. This one did give me a run for my money. Um, I tried something I had never tried before. I made some homemade scrapers out of cardboard and I am doing a really pretty design that I got inspiration from Happy Bath Bar, which I'll show you um, at the end when I show you what the cut looks like. But we have a um, actual sunflower on the inside, which I'm sure you may have seen that type of bar before, um, but it was something that I really wanted to try because I had never tried it before. This is scented in sunflower from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I believe it's a crafter's choice fragrance. It does accelerate a little bit. It didn't discolor too much for me though, which is really awesome and worked perfectly for this design type and what I wanted to do with the soap because the acceleration helped to speed the batch up enough so that I could scrape everything and not have to wait too long in between pouring other layers. So what I'm doing here is pouring off the brown and this is actually the second recording that I did of the second time that I made this soap. And I made this soap two times because the first time, if you saw my sunflower piping video, which I'll go ahead and pop a card on screen now for you, I accidentally screwed up on the design of the bar the first time, which I'll show you at the end of this video once I cut. So here I have my first scraper, and basically what I did was I made it out of cardboard, I cut it the way that I wanted to, and then I put a whole bunch of tape around it. And now I'm just scraping the bottom, and I do this quite a bit. I want to make sure that it's a really, really good scrape. So I'm scraping the majority out. And then what I'm going to do after is put more of the excess on top and scrape it a couple more times. Um, and you'll be happy to know that I did not waste any soap, um, thankfully, in the making of this bar. The first bar that I made, I ended up wasting a lot more soap than what I was okay with, but I was prepared this time. I made a batch and a half so that all of the scraped stuff, like I'd have enough, um, and then I actually ended up making a whole separate smaller uh, soap, which will probably end up just being sample bars, but I ended up making a whole second soap out of this um, in a separate mold, which I'll show you in just a moment. The first time that I scraped this, um, I, I just wanted to make sure that everything was going to look nice because I was imagining the way that it would look cut and that's what I try to do on everything. I wanted to make sure it was really clean and the good thing about making a soap the first time and being able to make edits and do it again and improve it is you can change little tiny things that you wouldn't really necessarily be able to change if you only made the the bar one time. So this is a little look at the uh, the second the second loaf that I was starting to make. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the color for, um, or mix the batter for the yellow. And because I did a batch and a half, I, I estimated what I wanted to do in terms of how much to pour off. And then I poured off everything separately. So I'm not pouring everything off at the same time because if there is extra, I can mix that up at the end and just put it in that um, second loaf that I'm making for this soap. And it actually worked out really, really well for me. The color that I'm using here is Yellow Vibrance, and I did not use this Yellow Vibrance color from Nurture Soap the first time that I made it, and that was one of the things that I really wanted to make sure that I changed. So I did that, um, and I mean overall, this bar came out absolutely stunning after making all of my edits, which of course it should, and nothing is ever going to be perfect on the first try. So. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my second scraper out. This is what it looks like. It's just a little um, cut out of sunflowers. The scrapers definitely took a long time for me to make because I was unsure of how I wanted to uh, make them. The first time, I think I sat at my desk for like two and a half hours just trying to make the scrapers the way that I wanted them to, all to find out that I wasn't going to like what they looked like inside the bar anyway. And then I was able to go off from the, the first bar that I made to make these guys. And I did a better job of taping them up so that I can actually use them next time. So similar to how I did the first layer, the brown layer, I'm going to go ahead and scrape this. And I'm going to scrape it pretty terribly. Um, and you can all see my head in there. I'm trying to make sure that everything is looking okay and I'm getting all the sides. 
I'm going to scrape everything really loosely, plop it back into that excess container, and then I'm going to put it all back on and re-scrape it a couple times. And the reason why I wanted to do this was because I really wanted to make sure that it was as even as possible. Again, these are like handmade scrapers, so it's, they aren't the best, but they got the job done. Um, I am looking into getting some actual real scrapers um, that people sell. Um, I've been looking around to let you guys know if I end up investing in any. So with this, the, the thing that I have found that's most important is to always get one really good straight scrape all the way across because if you aren't able to do that, then you're going to have inconsistencies in the bars. And while every single handmade soap is going to be a little bit different, I really like to try my best to make it as similar as possible. So when people see a picture online, they get what they actually see online because a lot of my shopping is done through either YouTube or Instagram or through my online shop. So people aren't able to actually look at the bar that they're planning on taking home. I am very excited to announce that if you are in the Babylon area on September 12th, I am going to be a vendor in the um, annual fair that Babylon puts on in the park. So um, that's really exciting. I heard about that this week, which is why I was able to finalize the um, launch time or the release date for this soap. So if you'd like to grab your hand, get your hands on this bar, it will be available on starting on Thursday, September 9th at 7 p.m. Eastern. And I would like to just make everything really clear. I'm going to be telling everybody this. Um, as soon as those bars go live and as soon as all of the products for the fall collection go live on that Thursday, I will not be able to promise that I'm going to have anything in stock after the weekend. I'm pushing or I'm actually moving my fall release date up so that I have enough time to pack orders and pull everything aside before the um, fair. So hopefully all goes well with that and everybody's able to get the bar that they want to, but I'm really excited. It's my first one um, with the soap shop. I've been to some craft fairs with my mom before, but this is the first one um, with the soap shop, so I'm really, really excited. And I have another one in October as well, and hopefully a couple more that I'll get approved of before the year is done. So one of the things that I wanted to make sure to do with this soap was not make it the same as everybody else's. And all of these sunflower bars that I've seen that have used scrapers like this have made a bright blue kind of sky as the top background. I didn't want to do that. I always really try hard to make mine a little different. So I kind of wanted to go with like a dark night, maybe little bit of purple kind of sky. Um, not, but not like bright, bright blue. And I really love the way that it turned out. It really makes the yellow pop, which is something that I really wanted. Um, and the fragrance oil did make this a little bit of a funky color, but it all came back. And I wanted this to look a little bit mottled. So I stirred it and I'm really happy that I did that because it made it look so... I, like one of the things that I've noticed when I've poured in the pot swirls is the colors can either look really um, modeled together or they can look really separate and I really wanted um, because these colors were so close I wanted them to almost look indistinguishable from each other and they do which is is really nice and I think it's a really nice look. So these are the sunflowers that I piped. Um, this was the second round of sunflowers because the first round was used up on the soap that I messed up. Um, and honestly, now that it started to cure, it's not that bad. You can tell that it's a sunflower now, which I'll show you um, in just a moment. We're going to cut it here after I pipe the um, green. But these guys were so much fun to make. I actually um, piped some sunflower cupcakes this morning and I ended up piping a couple more sunflowers in case I want to remake this soap again because I think that it's probably one of my favorites. It smells so good and is honestly just so exciting because sunflowers are just such, such a staple of like end of summer, early fall for me. Um, so here what I'm doing is I'm using the same piping tip that I piped the sunflowers with, which I believe, somebody asked me this for the last video, I believe it's a Wilton 352 tip. Um, and basically what I'm, I'm just putting those leaves in anywhere that I can. And I used a mixture of, it was Alpine Green and Let Us Entertain You. Alpine Green is from Nature uh, Nurture Soap. 
and um, Let Us Entertain You is from uh, Mad Micah's. And then the colors that I used for the actual inside, the brown was um, Mocha, the yellow was Yellow Vibrance. Um, both of those are from Nurture Soap. And then the two tops, uh, like the purple and the blue color, were Twilight and Pow Pow Purple from Mad Micah's. I'll link all those colors in the description box below so that if you would like to grab them, you can. Um, and I will give all of the information for when you can get your hands on this bar as well. Um, before I go anywhere to show you this cup though, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it really helps me out. Um, we are so close at this time of me recording this voiceover of hitting 500 subscribers here on YouTube, which is absolutely amazing and I never thought that I would be um, talking to so many of you, which is so exciting. So thank you for following along on this awesome journey. Here's a nice little close-up of this, the top of this bar for you. And now let's get into actually cutting. This is the second little kind of weird bar that I made that'll probably end up being sample soaps. I'm going to cut this on camera after I cut the first one. Um, I'll tell you now though, I accidentally made a Spongebob soap with green hair and a sunflower on top. Um, regardless, the this bar, like I said, is so sweet um, and it just makes my heart so happy. This is what it looks like on the inside. And I promise I'll show you a more focused one right now. Um, my camera doesn't really like to focus when I want it to sometimes, but that's the top. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. And those purples are, that purple is just so subtle in regards to the blue. And then you can also, this is, before I talk about the, the things, um, this is the first bar. So you can see from this angle, I added a little tiny bit of orange because I didn't want it to be such a, a huge color difference. I did scrape it and you can kind of see it at this angle, the difference between the yellow and the, the orange. Now that it's cured, it's a little different, but I was so bummed when I cut it because I'm like, oh, this is so annoying. The photo that I have on screen right now on the bottom right hand corner, that was the inspiration for this soap and that is from Happy Bath Bar and I just fell in love with it but I wanted to do something a little different and add a different type of a top. The top was inspired by um, Whitney from Cheeky Goat Soapery which I talked about in my last video and um, yeah overall the bar is really nice and to address like the small little tiny bits of holes. Um, a lot of people get freaked out because they think their soap is lie heavy. That's not the case here. There was just a little tiny bit of uh, soap that wasn't filling up the part where I scraped and that's why there's some. I think that was like, there was only two bars that had that on it. So overall, it was actually pretty nice. Um, let me go ahead and clean off this cutter. If you were wondering about the cutter, I got my cutter from Nurture Soap. Um, I absolutely love it before I was cutting them individually and it was absolutely terrible and now cutting takes me like two seconds to do and I, I'm, I'm obsessed with it. Don't forget to follow us over on Instagram as well. I am uploading a ton of content on a daily basis. This is what our uh, little Spongebob soap looks like. I cut it and I looked at it I'm like, yep, this is a Spongebob soap. Definitely looks kind of like Spongebob with hair, uh, green hair and uh, sunflower on top. <laughs> anyway, that is going to do it for me today. I will be back here on Thursday for um, some cupcakes, making some soap cupcakes with you guys. And then this will actually be the last week that we go doing two videos a week. I have so much content for you guys for the fall collection that I will actually be uploading on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. It's not this coming week, but the starting next week. So that's going to be really exciting. The fall release is about a month away, a little less than a month away now, which is absolutely crazy. But I'm really excited to show you everything that is coming. And I still have a lot of work left to do, but I'm excited about it and I can't wait. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day and I will see you here same time, same place next time. Thank you.